O sana ang aming awit, kakilang anak ni David, sa ngala ng Diyos sa langit. Pagpapalang pagsapit ng pagtubos sa daigdi. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent, until now we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. blessing of palms let us pray almighty and ever living god sanctify these branches with your blessing that we who follow christ the king in exaltation may reach the eternal jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever amen The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and his disciples drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethphage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately on entering it, you will find a cult, tethered on new which no one has ever sat, untie it, and bring it here. If anyone should say to you, why are you doing this? Reply, the master has need of it, and will send it back here at once. So they went off and found a colt, tethered at a gate outside on the street, and they untied it. Some of the bystanders said to them, what are you doing, untying the coat? They answered them, just as Jesus had told them to. And they permitted them to do it. So they brought the coat to Jesus and put their cloaks over it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. Those preceding him as well as those following kept 
crying out, O Sana, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come, O Sana, in the highest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ, amen. amen. Sana ang aming awit, sana ni David. Sa ngalan ng Diyos na sa langit, pagpapalat, pagtubos sa amin. Magdala ng mga palaspas, sa lubungin siya ng may galak. O sana, o manunubos, salamat sa Diyos na buhay. O sana ang aming awit, sana ni David. Sa ngalan ng Diyos na sa langit, pagpapalat, pagtubos sa amin. Pataan ng Jerusalem, pasayang nagawitan. O sana, o manunubos, salamat sa Diyos na buhay. O sana ang aming awit, sana ni David. Ang Diyos na sa langit, pagpapalat, pagtubos sa amin. Ang mga anghel sa langit, nagpupuring walang patin. Dito sa daigdig, kami nakianim sa kanilang pag-awin. Sana ang aming awit, sana ni David. Sa ngalan ng Diyos na sa langit, pagpapalat, pagtubos sa amin. O sana ang aming awit, sana ni David. Sangala ng Diyos na sa langit, pagpapalat, pagtubos sa amin. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow Christ, our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, Graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. On the first reading, this mysterious servant prefigures Jesus, who identifies himself as the servant who frees all people. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back, I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pluck my bird. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing 
that I shall not back be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see my scoff at me, they mock me with parted lips, they wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among men, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear that Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? On the second reading, the glory of Jesus comes from the total emptying of self. His passion and death are his exaltation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth, and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Masuring Cristo Jesus nagain ng buhay sa krus kaya't di nakila ng Diyos binigyan ng ngalang tampok sa langit at sansinuko masunuring Kristo Jesus nagain ng buhay sa krus Kaya't di na kilala ng Dios, binigyan ng ngalang tampo sa langit at sansinuko. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. As soon as morning came, the chief priest with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him. 
Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priest accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him. Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner, whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison, along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Why? What the evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and after he had Jesus' scourge, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple and weaving a crown of thorns, placed it in him. They began to salute him with, Hail the King of the Jews! And kept striking his head with a reed and spitting upon him. They knelt before him in homage, and when they had mocked him, they stripped him on the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to crucify him. They pressed into a service a passerby Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry this cross. They brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. With him, they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha! You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priest with the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at the three o'clock, Jesus cried out, in a loud voice. Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. Which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, Look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine, put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait. Let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. Please kneel. Please stand. The veil of the sanctuary was torn into two from top to bottom. 
When the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus kami ay sama sa iyong mga pagdurusa. Yamang ikaw ay di ba? Sakdala namin sa tuwi na duwalhati ng lahat na. Sa isang trip sa abroad ay merong lounge siya kung napuntahan na nagkalat ang mga instruction ng ganito. Leave it better than you found it. Leave it better than you found it. Ito'y instruction para sa sino mang pupunta doon na anumang bagay ang datnan namin. Dapat iwanan namin ng maayos o mas maayos pa nga kesa sa unan namin itong nakita. Halimbawa, yung mesang pinagkainan dapat linisin namin. Yung mga chairs na inupuan dapat ayusin namin. Yung mga newspapers dapat i-fold properly namin. By the way, yung instruction also includes those things we did not use pero ginamit ng iba at iniwan na lang na hindi maayos. Yun din, dapat naming ayusin. Kasi hindi natin dapat sabihin, hindi ako kumain dyan, hindi ako umupo dyan, hindi ako gumamit niyan. Regardless, may duty pa rin tayo to leave them better than we found them. Applying this to our life. Ganun din. Remember that we are stewards of God. Tayo mga katiwala ng Diyos, lahat ng bagay na dinatlan natin sa mundong ito, pati na ang buhay natin, hindi sa atin. Pinagkatiwala lang sa atin. At bilang mga katiwala, ang pangunahing gampanin natin, hindi lamang ingatan kundi pagyamanin. May pinagkatiwalang baboy sa'yo, hindi mo lang aalagaan yan. Mas matutuwa yung nagkatiwala sa'yo. Kung ibabalik mo, yung baboy, malusog na, nagkaanak pa. Besides, God's way, basically, is to create and not to destroy, not to annihilate. That should also be our way, our style in life. Ang lumikha at hindi ang sumira. Ang luminis at hindi magpadumi. Ang magpaganda at hindi magpatsaka. Kaya, nakakasura para sa atin ha, para sa karamihan lalo na, yung nagkaroon ng resort sa may chocolate hill. Hindi yan nakapagpapaganda, nakapagpapapangit yan, nakapagpaparubi yan, po pwede pang makasira yan. Ano ba yan yan? Bagay na kung hindi natin pakikialaman, matutulad na lamang yan sa mga nauna ng treasures ng kalikasan na pinabayan. Ang ganun na lang. Katulad na lamang ng sariling amin. Aaminin ko. Sasabihin ko, sariling amin. Pero sariling atin din. Pero taga San Miguel kasi ako eh. Nahaabutan ko pa yung biyak na bato National Park. Masarap maligo dyan. Malamig, maganda ang tubig dyan. Ngayon wala na. Hindi na. Nalipat na. Kasi pag may bagyo, bumabaha na sa iba't ibang parte ng aming bayan. So nakita nyo na. Napabayaan. Leave it better than you found it. Something 
that we can also apply sa pakikipagkapwa natin. It is also our duty to leave people better than we found them. Sabi nga po ni Mother Teresa, spread love everywhere. No one should come to us without living happier. Lalo pat marami sa atin, halos lahat naman may pinagdadaanan sa trabaho, lalo na sa pamilya, na hindi niya masabi, kanino man, madalas sinosolo na lang. Kaya't yung simpleng paghay natin, pakikisama natin, pagtapik natin sa balikat, pangungumusta natin, concern natin, pagtulong natin, napakalaking bagay niyan in order for us to leave them better than we found them. Para lang din sa bagay, hindi ikaw ang nagdumi. Linisin mo pa rin. Hindi ikaw ang sumira. Buuin mo pa rin. Hindi ikaw ang nagpapangit. Pagandahin mo pa rin. Hindi ikaw ang nagpapangit, sumira ng araw o buhay niya. Pagandahin, ayusin mo pa rin kahit papaano. Lalo pat, we are our brother's keepers. Tayo ay may tayo ay katiwala din ng ating kapwa-tao. Sapagkat ang hindi pakikialam, ay bahala ka dyan. Ang hindi pakikialam, ang siyang mas sumisira pa nga, hindi lang ng kalikasan, kundi ng buhay ng kahit sino pa man. Tingnan po ninyo si Pilato. Hindi ko alam kung naintindihan niya mabuti yung sinabi niya sa John 19 verse 5 kung saan ang sabi niya natatandaan niyo nang i-present ni Pilate si Jesus sa crowd for the first time nang nasa kanyang pangangalaga na si Kristo sabi ni Pilate behold the man the man tingnan ninyo ang Eke, eche, homo. Alam po ninyo, napakahalaga nito. Ginamit ng Diyos si Pilate upang kahit hindi niya maintindihan, maipahayag niya sa pangamagkitan ng kanyang salita ang katotohanan tungkol kay Kristo. Si Kristo ay hindi lamang Diyos na totoo. Si Kristo rin ang taong totoo. At pag sinabing, the man, siyang standard ng pagiging tao. Hindi si Adan. Kasi si Adan nagkasala. Si Kristo. Tanong, paano ba magpakatao? Tingnan mo si Kristo. Hindi si Adan. At hindi ang sino man, si Kristo. At nasa sense ni Pilato yan. Sa tinagal-tagal na lumilitis, kumikilatis si Pilato, nang isinasakdal ng mga taong makasalanan. Sa pagsasalita pa lang ng nakasakdal, sa tindig pa lang ng nakasakdal, sa tingin pa lang ng nakasakdal, alam na agad ni Pilato kung ang taong nakasakdal ay makasalanan. At hindi niya nakita kahit konti lang kay Kristo yan. Kaya nga, kung babasahin niyo yung mas mahabang form ng gospel reading ngayon, ilang beses sasabihin ni Pilate, wala akong makitang kasalanan ng taong ito. Ano bang ginawang kasalanan ng taong ito? Si Kristo, tatanong niya, ano bang kasalanan mo? Hanggat maaari gusto niyang isalba si Kristo. Nakisama pa nga sa usapan ng kanyang misis na sinabi sa version ni St. Matthew 27.9 ang sabi sa kanya ng misis niya lubayan mo yung taong yan pinahirapan ako sa panaginip ko wala siyang kasalanan kaya lang mga mister mula noon hanggang ngayon sino ba naman sa inyo ang nakinig sa misis niyo di ba? joke lang pero yun ang nakalulungkot eh Nasa essence ni Pilato, walang kasananan si Kristo. Pero anong ginawa niya? Naghugas kamay siya. 
para sabihin wala siyang kinalaman. Mas lalo siyang nagkaroon ng kinalaman, mas lalo siyang nagkaroon ng kasalanan sapagkat ang hindi pakikialam. Lalo pat may pagkakataon at may kapangyarihan ka naman ay mas malaking kasalanan kaysa naunang kasalanan. Toleration of evil is more evil. And so, brothers and sisters, let us therefore use every opportunity, every power that we have in order to live things, most especially people, better than we found them. Because we don't just meet people by accident. There is always a reason. Either it's a lesson para matuto tayo sa tao or a blessing para matulungan natin yung tao at matulungan din tayo in the process ng tao. Alam po ninyo sa Ebanghelyo, ang under trial, hindi talaga si Kristo. Si Kristo ang King of Kings. Ang under trial, si Pilato. Kasi nakikiramdam ang Diyos. Ano ngayon ang gagawin mo? You have the opportunity. You have the power. Nandyan si Kristo. Bagamat duguan, bagamat lupay, hindi naman. Mahina, hindi mahina. Buhay. Pwede mong isalpa ang kanyang buhay. Ano ginawa ni Pilato? Hindi inayos. Mas sinira pa. Hindi sinalba. Pinatay pa. Tandaan natin ha, ganun din ang nangyayari sa atin. Whenever we are with people, whenever we encounter people in our family, sa ating eskwela, sa ating pinagdatarabuhan, we are under trial. Tinitingnan ng Diyos, iiwanan ba natin yung tao, tatalikuran ba natin ang tao na maayos o mas maayos o mas wasak pa kesa nung nakita na encounter natin sila. Huwag sana tayong tumulad kay Pilato. Na hanggang ngayon, binabanggit ang pangalan, sikat na sikat, mula noon hanggang ngayon, at hanggang sa kawakasan ng mundong ito. Isipin po ninyo, linggo-linggo binabanggit natin ang pangalan niya. Pero kung ikaw siya, ayaw mo na. Bakit? Kasi yung sense na, Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was spelled. Ang sense nun, may oportunidad ka, may kapangyarihan ka, sinayang mo. Hindi mo inayos, mas sinira mo pa ang buhay ng tao. Sabi po ni Taylor Swift, You are the only person who gets to decide what you will be remembered for. Ikaw ang magdedesisyon. Tanging ikaw lang. Kung papaano mo gustong maalala pagdating ng panahon. Papaano? Gusto mo bang maalala ka bilang isang dapat na asawa? Bilang isang masakripisyong magulang? Mapagmahal na anak, mapagmalasakit na kapatid, hindi nakalilimot na kaibigan, mabuting boss, mabuting katrabaho, mabuting kapitbahay, mabuting kapwa-tao, o kabaligtara nito. Father, ano kung walang hiya ka? Pagpatay na ako, hindi ko naman maririnig na yung sasabihin nila, di ba? Wala na yun. Akala mo lang wala na yun. Pero meron pa rin na yun. Lalo pat, sasabihin daw ng Panginoon sa mga mapupunta ng langit pagdating ng panahon, Ali kayo, kasi nagutom ako, pinakain niyo ako. Nauhaw ako, pinainom niyo ako. Nagkasakit ako, nabilanggo ako, tinalaw niyo ako. In other words, You left me better than you found me sa katauhan 
ng kapwa mo. On the contrary, yung mga mapupunta ng impyerno, anong sabihin ng Panginoon? Doon kayo sa impyerno, sapagkat nagutom ako, hindi nyo ko pinakain, nauhaw ako, hindi nyo ko pinainom, wala akong maisot, hindi nyo ako dinamintan, nagkasakit ako, nabilang ako, hindi nyo ako dinalaw. In other words, you left me worse than you found me sa katauhan ng kapwa mo. Siyempre, magtatanong ka, ano naman ang kinalaman ko? Anong worse yung ginawa ko? Ano naman yung kinalaman ko na nagutom ang kapwa ko? Na wala siyang mainom, na nabilang ko siya, na nagkasakit siya? Ano naman ang kinalaman ko na naging worse ang kalagayan niya? Kapatid, malaki. Maaring wala kang kinalaman kung bakit siya nagutom. Pero kung bakit siya mas nagutom, may kinalaman ka. Kung wala kang ginawa, kahit meron kang pagkakataon at kapangyarihang gawin yun. In the same vein of thought, po pwedeng wala kang kinalaman kung bakit namantay ang tatay mo at nangungulila ngayon ang nanay mo. Po pwedeng wala kang kinalaman kung bakit nagkahiwalay ang mga magulang mo at naiiwan ngayon ang nanay mong tinataguyod kayo ng pamilya ninyo, kayong magkakapatid. Po pwedeng wala kang kinalaman kung bakit naghihirap ngayon ang pamilya ninyo. Kung bakit, pwedeng wala kang kinalaman kung bakit may sakit ngayon ang kapatid mo, may sakit ngayon ang anak mo, may sakit. Wala kang kinalaman. Pero, yung wala kang ginagawa, kahit konti lang, upang kanilang pagdurusa, hindi man mawala ay maibsan, gumaan, mas nakapagpapahirap sa kanila yan. Yung nagugutom, pag dumaan ka at may pagkain ka, hindi ka nagbigay, mas nagutom yun. Yung nauhaw, dumaan ka, meron kang inibibigay, hindi mo binigay, mas nauhaw yon. Single parent na nga yung nanay mo, puro kapapasakit ulo. May sakit na nga yung nanay, yung tatay ninyo, nag-aaway pa kayong magkakapatid. Hirap na nga yung yung pamilya, puro kapag gasta, nagsusugal ka pa, may bisyo ka pa. Tandaan po natin ha, para sa isang taong hirap na hirap na, kung bakit siya patuloy na lumalaban, meron pa siyang pag-asa. Makakaahong pa ako, gagaling pa ako, malalampasan ko pa ito. Diba sabi natin habang may buhay may pag-asa? It can also be the other way around. Habang may pag-asa, may buhay. Pero pag inalis mo yung pag-asa, para mo na rin siyang pinatay. Umaasa pa siyang aahon siya, tapos panay ka pabigay ng konsumisyon? Pag-asa na lang ang meron siya, kukunin mo pa, edi pinatay mo na siya. Nakagano na lang, oh. Isang dali nila lang ang nakakapit na pag-asa. Tinanggal mo pa. Kaya mas malaki ang iyong pagkakasala. Wag sana, ha? Wag sana. At ito sana ang ating mensaheng makita. Maawa naman tayo sa Panginoon na patuloy na naghihirap sa atin para sa atin hanggang ngayon. Maawa din naman sana tayo sa mga taong nagmamahal sa atin. Sa kabila ng problema ay lumalaban pa rin. Pero tulungan natin. Ito sana ang hilingin nating bayaya sa badala pagdiriwang natin. Lagyan natin ang ating kanang kamay sa tapat ng ating puso. Awitin natin, alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa Baka pangyarihan siya. Ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa Walang imposible sa ang Diyos. Kung ako'y magtatapat, kung ako Magtatapat. Sa kanya'y maglilingkod. Sa kanya'y maglilingkod. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong may magagawa ang Diyos. Alam kong di ringgin ang Diyos ang samo. Alam kong di 
tinggi ng Diyos sa pagkatanang niya. Ang samu ko. Alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang samu ko. Alam kong di rin kinang Diyos ang samu ko. Kung ako'y magtatapat kung ako'y magtatapat sa kanya'y maglilingkod sa kanya'y maglilingkod alam ko Tiring ginang Diyos Bikit natin ang ating mga mata ko. Panginoon Tuwing magmamahal na araw Para bang mas napagninilayang ko Hindi yung sakripisyo mo para sa akin eh Kundi yung mga sakripisyo ko Mali eh Dapat ang mas pagninilayang ko Yung laging sakripisyo mo Para sa akin Kaya lang Panginoon patawad kung bakit ito pa yung nagiging mga araw para dumaing ako sa iyo, para magmakaawa ako sa iyo, kasi wala naman din akong maasahan na makakaintindi ng mga sakripisyo ko, na makatutulong sa akin, kundi ikaw lang. Tulungan mo ko, Panginoon, sa aking mga pinagdaraanan. Mayroong magandang mangyayari. Mayroong magandang mangyayari. Sa iyo, maaaring matagal, maaaring hindi, pero magiging maayos din ang lahat. Sa Kanya ka unang-unang lumapit, umasa at kumapit. Iba'y nang sabi niya, lumapit kayo sa akin, kayong mga nabibigatan, at kayo'y bibigyan ko ng kapahingahan. Lapitan mo siya, yakapin mo siya, kapitan mo siya. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven, of heaven and, and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Offertory. Oh, oh. 
sisters and brothers that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God's loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His host, holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with, your, with you be near at hand so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, Yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and His resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels in joyful celebration, we do acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who, who comes, comes in the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those for whom we will now pray. Let us bow our heads and in silence we pray for our departed loved ones. Please include Joyce, Basilio, Paulino, Indai, Paulina, Nene, Zeni, Amang, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Lady of Lazarus, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say. Salah 
Lord, we pray from every evil and grace to grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are yours, and now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grace they grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of God's peace. Kapayapan is with Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those invited to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof, but only say, only the, word, say the word, and my soul, and shall, my be soul healed. shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
sa maalap na udyok ng pag-ibig. Hinahanap kita sa aking kapwa at siyang tanging tumatanglaw bituin sa kipatnubay. Diwas at paglalakbay, sandigan lakas at tibay, laging awit ang sagisan, ang mabuhay sa pag-ibig. Ang mabuhay sa pag-ibig ay maging bihag sa tawag ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. Papawin niyang lahat ang panimdim. Sa gunit adahas ay limutin si lang putik man ako kayamanan ka ng puso ko ganting pala ko'y ikaw pag-asang natatanaw ang pumanaw sa sarili ay mabuhay sa pag Ang mabuhay sa pag-ibig ay pagbibigay na di nagtatansya ng halaga at hindi naghihintay ng kapalit. Pagbibigay walang pasubali Ibigay ko ng lahat, magana kong tumatakbo. Dukha man ako sa lahat, dukha man ako sa lahat. Ang tanging kong yaman ay mabuhay sa pag Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Merciful One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Merciful One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Merciful One. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, King of Mercy. We trust in you. Alalahanin. 
alalahanin o mahal na Birhen ng Lasalet, ina ng pag-asa, ikaw ang nagpaalala sa amin, magbalik loob sa Ama. Ito ang nagpapatunay na ang kagandahang loob mo'y nanatiling busilak. Sa pag-aaruga mo sa amin, tungkulin mo'y tinapal. Sa paana ni Kristo'y itinurin mo kaming mga tunay mong anak. Kaya ninais mong ni Isay huwag mapahama. Maging sa iyo walang tigil na pananalangin, pati luhay pumatak. Huwag namang mawala ng saysay ang iyong paghihirap. Pilingnawa namin sa iyo o aming inang liyag na matapos ang pakikibaka namin sa mundong ito at sa pananatili namin tapat kay Kristo, sa kapurihan mo'y makibahagi kaming ganap upang kung nasaan ka ngayon ay maparoon din kaming lahat at ang kaganapan ng kalwalhatian ng Diyos Amay tuluyang matupad siya nawa. Mahal na pira ng Lasalat, nagapagkasundo ng mga makasalanan. Ipanalangin mong walang patid kaming mga dumudulog sa iyo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa at sa mga tulong na pinipigay po ninyo. Sa tulong ninyo at sa pagtangkilik sa ating sovereign shop, sa mga nag-aalay ng Alkansya, maraming maraming salamat po. Sa pagtangkilik sa ating three nails na crown, meron pong bagong parating na t-shirt. At salamat po sa pagtangkilik sa ating mga life masses and reflections. Marami pong salamat. At uh, i-check na lang po natin ang ating schedule for this Holy Week for us to be guided. Salamat po. Wala pong papalakpak pagkatapos ng misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless you and our loved ones in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Sa kalinis, sa iyo hanggang lang.